Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So a lot of people, when they go to embark on the one meal a day diet journey, or they're thinking about embarking on this journey with this type of intermittent fasting diet, that a lot of people have a concern about losing muscle mass whilst on this one meal a day diet. So is this something you need to be concerned about? Are you gonna lose loads of muscle mass whilst eating one meal a day? And what I have to say to that is it really really depends but what i will first say is the benefits that actually increase muscle mass and actually stop you from losing muscle mass whilst in that intermittent fasted state on the one meal a day diet so as i've talked about in many many different videos before there's so much scientific research out there to back up these claims as well that you can look up online that when you are in an intermittent fasted state and the longer that you fast for throughout the day, human growth hormone levels go up exponentially in men, anywhere up to 2,000%, females around 1,300%, and with testosterone levels in males, it goes up anywhere by 200 to 400%, which is so much increase in testosterone levels, and so many men, have low testosterone levels and they have more of an issue with being estrogen dominant where they have an excess of estrogen in the body and low levels of testosterone and also it makes insulin go very very low and it improves insulin sensitivity and all of the benefits that i've just mentioned are very well known in the scientific movement and just in the natural health and the fitness industry to actually increase muscle mass whilst reducing body fat percentage and it also helps preserve muscle mass as well and there's also a lot of other information out there that has been shown through science that intermittent fasting actually helps preserve muscle mass due to other reasons as well so what i have to say is you do not need to be concerned about losing muscle mass whilst doing the intermittent fasting diet known as one meal a day, unless when you're eating your one meal a day, you're not eating adequate amounts of protein to actually give you optimal nitrogen balance, which is absolutely key for helping increase muscle mass and stopping you from losing muscle mass as well. And another factor I say is as well, is that for some people this is gonna be an issue and for some people it's not. For people that are not eating as many calories, it could start to make you lose muscle mass. So that's something to be aware of. So if you're someone that is concerned about losing muscle mass with eating one meal a day, then make sure you're eating as many calories as you possibly can and adequate amounts of protein to give you that optimal nitrogen balance. So you do not lose muscle mass whatsoever. And what I would say is there is some people that I've spoken to that have said they've lost muscle mass whilst eating one meal a day, and some people that have gained muscle mass. And what I can say from my own experience is I've actually gained muscle mass whilst eating one meal a day and actually reduced my body fat percentage at the same time. But what I say is from my own personal experience, almost all of my journey one meal a day, I have been eating so many calories, where I was eating around three to 4,000 calories. I'm not eating nowhere near as many calories as that recently but i'm going through an experimental stage at the moment with eating around 1500 calories a day with one meal a day because i felt naturally drawn to do so so what i would do is keep you updated on my own personal journey with eating less calories and seeing if i actually lose muscle mass or not i do have some slight concerns in the back of my head but we shall see it may just be my mind creating stories in its head so in my head so to speak and yeah who knows what will happen but yeah, if I find that I start to lose muscle mass, I will let you know in this video and I will start to eat a lot more calories. But what I will say is muscles use a lot more calories than fat. So the more muscle mass that you have, the more calories that you need to sustain the muscles that you have. And my last thing I say is if you're not training consistently with the right type of training to actually gain and sustain muscle mass you're not going to actually gain muscle with eating one meal a day and you will get to muscle loss so that's something to be very aware of and i talk about my number one mistake 
with actually not maximizing my muscle mass. And what I do is I'm gonna put a link for a video up above that I posted recently where I talk about the number one mistake that I made whilst on my calisthenics journey to transform my body and gain muscle mass that actually slowed down my muscle development. So I highly recommend that you go and check that out because so many people that I speak to on a regular basis that are doing one meal a day, they're expecting to not lose muscle mass and gain muscle mass, but they're not doing the right training consistently or they are training consistently and they think they're doing the right things but they're actually not doing the right things and then they wonder why they're not getting the results they desire with their body to get well-defined muscles that are very very developed and one last thing i mentioned is if you are someone that has quite low testosterone levels and you have an excess of estrogen within the body intermittent fasting can help with that issue but i've seen in a lot of cases people need to be doing things to get out the excess estrogen throughout their body because yeah if you're not doing that it's going to be very hard to lose as much fat as possible and gain as much fat as possible because it causes you to actually lose muscle mass and makes it harder to gain muscle mass when you have an excess of estrogen in the body it causes more water retention as well so this is something to be very 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 aware of and the best thing that I have found to get rid of excess estrogen within the body is using a specific supplement called DIM. And this is something that I've used with various different people that I've been finding with one meal a day, they're not getting the weight loss results that they desire to get. And once they start taking this, they find it starts stripping off the fat and helps them go in the direction of gaining more mass or mass at the same time time so what i'm going to do is with this supplement i'm going to put some links down below for uk us and worldwide suppliers that can deliver the most highest quality dim supplement on the market it's not the cheapest but you get what you pay for it's got nothing toxic added to it and it's by far the best dim supplement on the market and i would recommend taking one of these capsules or once a day with your one meal a day and i'm telling you with the benefits i just mentioned you're going to notice some significant increase with those benefits in a shorter period of time. So that is it for this video. If you have any questions on anything that I've shared with you today in this video, please leave them down below and I get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think will have to hear about one meal a day in relation to will you lose muscle mass or not. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis on specific topics such as one meal a day, intermittent fasting, calisthenics workout and progression videos, what I eat in a day and do in a day videos and many different videos to push you in the direction to be inspired and motivated to gain and maintain the body's are the fitness levels and the energy levels and teach you the information to sustain those results long term once you've managed to gain them. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click that bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.